Balthazar Gelt, Supreme Patriarch of the Empire. I'll admit, I'm not a huge fan of how you acquired your title as the Magister Patriarch of the Gold Order, but Zinch works in strange and mysterious ways. I have to assume this was all part of his great plan. I'm not gonna lie, I know I'm supposed to ridicule you in these videos, but you're one of my favorite Order Tide factions in the game. Now, Creative Assembly has finally updated your campaign mechanics to be unique from the rest of the Empire. It's incredibly fun to abuse your authority as the Supreme Patriarch and dilute the Empire with mass-produced gold. By my will alone! What's political power without a healthy dose of corruption? And I have a soft spot for corruption myself. I also appreciate that there's a three-turn cooldown on your ability to conjure gold out of thin air. It wouldn't do to completely destroy the economy. Although if your lore is anything to go by, that gold will probably turn to lead soon. You might want to return to the Empire before the dragons notice this. I don't think your social credit score can take the hit. Speaking of mass-produced, your new campaign mechanics allow you to churn out mages, crippled with student loans, faster than the United States colleges. Talk about an overpowered mechanic. Do you have any idea how hard it is for other legendary lords to recruit mages? The stunties have to cheese the Skaven endgame crises, and Kostaltin can't get one until at least turn 20, and that's if it's the first thing he goes for. Meanwhile, you can mass-produce 30 mages before either of them acquire one. I am supreme! Damn right you are. Once you acquire your Pegasus and the Staff of Volans, you're basically unstoppable on the battlefield. Lord of Metal! It's reassuring to talk to someone else who also suffers from effortless superiority. Bow before me! Gelt, I was looking through your lord. Just... wow. I'm at a loss for words. This lore ranges from impressive to so batshit crazy I'm having trouble believing it. It's crazy how much stuff you have in here. Kemler, Gorst, Katep, the Changeling and Nakai put together didn't have as much lore as you. I guess there's something irresistible about a man who's intelligent enough to understand what a war crime is and blatantly commits them anyway. I will not lie. The chances of your survival are small. But isn't it far better to die in a blaze of glory than live in fear? Ready for war! Oh, we certainly are. We certainly are. Don't forget to like and subscribe.